Our next DLC expansion for Crusader Kings 2 is going to be called The Republic. And this is something people have been asking for pretty much ever since the release. The focus of this DLC is going to be the great merchant republics of the medieval times. That is uh, Venice, Genoa, Pisa, the Hansa, and probably early in the game Gotland as well, which is called the midwife of the Hansa. Now, playing a republic is going to be a little bit different than playing the normal feudal countries. It's going to be kind of a struggle between five great families or patricians within the Republic. So for example in Venice you can have the house of Contarini, Dandolo, Faliero and so on. So it's kind of a <laughs> almost Romeo and Juliet like feel to the, the five families. Now each family is basically plays out a little bit like the normal rulers you're, you're used to playing. Except that the Republic is of course elective, so when a doge dies, for example in Venice, one of the family heads will take over as a new doge. The election is kind of a big deal, um, because the most senior family head or patrician with the most prestige, who has invested the most money in his kind of election campaign, is likely to win. You can't be sure that he will win, but he probably will. So what do the patrician families do? Well, they spend their time building trade posts and expanding their trade empire. And the way this works is every coastal province in the game can contain a trade post which is owned by one of the great families in one of the merchant republics. Trade posts give money and tax income to both the patricians and to the owner of the province in which they are located. So it's kind of a good thing to have a trade post in your province. You want trade even if you are a feudal lord or a king or whatever. You can embargo the republics, uh, burning down their trade posts and getting a kind of one-time income from doing so. Of course it might hurt you in the long run, but if you're, for example, a Muslim, you, you could get piety for kicking out the infidel Christian traders from your coast, coastal provinces. Uh, Republican characters, patricians and merchant families kind of have merchant looking clothes, uh, so there's kind of a special clothes pack included in the DLC as well. And there is a Republican skin to the interface, which isn't quite as ambitious as the one we made for Sword of Islam, but still different from playing feudal country. So basically you play one of the heads of the patrician families in a merchant republic and you try to expand your trade empire and you can seize cities on the coasts of, for example, the Mediterranean to boost your income from your trade posts as well. So it's kind of a different game, uh, same same but different.